So here's the picture from the Barbie movie. Let's say you want to replace the face with Shelby. Let's type that in and there you go. This is incredible. But what about a common face like you and I? Unless you're a celebrity, of course. Let's try that. So here we have Beethoven. My name is Unmesh. Let's type that in. Keeping my racial features aside, I think this is just incredible. It matched everything perfectly, even the lighting and the painting style. So what is happening right here? How do you set it up? Does it work with mid-journey? What about different expressions of the face? What about different angles of the face or different lighting conditions? Does it swap the face and match it perfectly in all of those scenarios? Let's get to it one by one. To set it up, you have to have a Discord account. So once you create it, you need to create a server. How do you create one? Click on this plus icon right there. It says add a server, super easy. Now you would want to create your own for me and my friends if you want to keep it private. And let's name it Face Swap. That's it. And click on create. Now you can name it whatever you want. Now your shiny new server Face Swap is now created. You can access it by clicking on this button or click on whatever name you have named it. Now you have to invite a bot into this server to do the face swapping for you. And to do that, just paste this link into your address bar by the way this link is in the description and just go to this link that's it inside face will show up and right here in the drop down choose the server where you want to add it so in our case it is the face swap server already selected and click on continue authorize it now let's go to face swap you're all set now in simple terms we have to save different faces into the system that will be used for face replacement. So for it, press forward slash and then save ID. Now this is already gonna show up, click on it and just drag and drop the face that you wanna save. And let's name it Bean. Remember this name, hit enter or return. Now as you can see that face profile has been created. Now, if you want to swap faces, type forward slash and type in swap ID, click on it and drop the image where you want to do face swap. So this is John Cena. Let's replace the face with Bean. And there you go, Bean Cena. Now we can create multiple face IDs. We'll get to it later, but the last created one will be active. So here's another way of doing it. So if you just drag and drop the photo of John Cena right here and post it and right click on it, go to apps, you'll see in swapper, click on it it does the same thing. Now the great part about it is that it even copied the expression, which is amazing. Now how about using it with Midjourney AI? In order to do that, you have to invite the Midjourney bot into this server as well. To do it, go to your Midjourney server. And by the way, if you want to learn how to set up Midjourney, there's this video we did many months ago. Now in here, you'll find Midjourney bot, click on it and click on add to server. And you can add it to face swap server, continue, and authorize. Have a look, Midjourney bot is welcomed. By the way, if you want to see the list of people in the server, you can click on this button right here. It will show the members. Now you can give Midjourney commands like imagine, and I'm gonna imagine a Renaissance portrait of a man smiling, looking at the camera, old school, clean shaven, royal costume. Let's try that. Now you have to understand that Midjourney on its own is not completely free. It does have a few free trials here and there, but you have to pay for it for the most part. Let's say you like the second one. Let's upscale it. And the upscale is usually very fast. Now, right click on it, choose apps and in swapper. That's it. Oh my gosh. This is seriously rush hour. So I was doing it early in the morning and maybe because most people were asleep, it worked blazingly fast. So here's the original and here is Mr. Bean. Look how beautifully it captured the expression. Now there are a couple artifacts which we can easily fix in Photoshop. I think our Discord one is ready to, oh my gosh. This is crazy amazing. It even captured the wrinkles. Mr. Bean in Renaissance, this is, I'm in loss of words. All right, so here's the original photo not much dimension the color grading is neutral how can you get from this to this where is technology going so how can you create multiple ids and apply whatever you like whenever you want here's how to do it let's type in forward slash save id it's going to show up right here and let's do it for emma watson type in emma let's also repeat the process for taylor swift and yours truly now, once you have created these IDs, you can apply different IDs to the same image. Now, let's say if Emma Watson played Wonder Woman, how would that look like? So let's type in swap ID right there, drag and drop the image. And what was the ID we created for Emma Watson? Emma, right? So let's type in Emma. Now, while it's in the queue, let's apply another command as well. And this time let's go for Taylor Swift. And for the sake of it, why not Mr. Bean? Let's also do that. And there you go. I would definitely watch these movies. 
So Emma Watson and uh, Taylor Swift. It looks pretty nice. Have a look, it even did the dual lighting properly. Let's see if Mr. Bean is done. <laughs> Definitely reminds me of the Mr. Bean scene where he dresses up as a lady. Have you seen it? The more you play with it, the more flabbergasted you get. Now, over the course of time, you might have created a lot of IDs. To see a list of all of them and to set one as a default, here's how to do it. So let's type in forward slash list ID. That's it. Hit enter or return. And it will show all the ID that you have created. In this case, it is Bean, Emma, Taylor, Yudi. And it will also show the current ID that is selected. So what do you mean by current ID name? So right now it is set to UD, that is yours truly, my face. So if I drag and drop an image right here and just post it, whether it's from AI or whether something you posted on the server like we did right now, if you right click on it and click on apps and in swapper, the ID name UD will be applied because it is the current ID name. Now let's see how Harry Potter looks like it if it was shot in India. And there you go more like shot in California. But it did all the faces. Look at Ron's face especially. It even got the angle right. Have a look at the angle or this angle. This technology just took the front of my face and was able to generate all of these angles. And it even created Harry Potter's glasses. That is something on a completely different level. Now, if you want to change the current ID name to something else, forward slash set ID. There you go. And you can set it to, let's say, Bean. Now let's get Superman in. And right now, if you right click on it, go to apps and in Swapper, and there you have Mr. Bean as Superman. Matched the skin tone perfectly, matched the expression. The original photo here was absolutely something else, as you can see, but still, I would definitely watch that movie. Now we have to admit, it's not perfect, but it does give a fantastic starting point. For example, in this case, there was an artifact right here, which you can easily fix with the remove tool, just like that. And maybe different parts of the face you can generate with generative fill. Maybe this ear is a little awkward, so you can select that area, use generative fill right there. But on the flip side, you don't have to worry about face angles. You don't have to worry about lighting, shadows, color grading, expressions. It's all automatic. You just have to fix the little details, add finishing to it, and maybe upscale it using a ton of upscalers available. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you play with this. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a like. And also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss any other future tips, tricks, or tutorials. I would like to take this moment to thank all of these nice and amazing people for supporting Pix Imperfect on Patreon and helping keep Pix Imperfect free for everybody forever. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Until then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. We're up here on cloud nine. And somehow we get it right every time. Cause these days we're partners in crime.